Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to create themes or custom themes on your Windows 11 computer. So if you want to create a custom theme with images, dark mode, light mode, etc., just a very customized Windows theme for you. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to actually create a theme that you can save as its own custom theme. So pretty straightforward, and we're going to go ahead and jump right into it. This isn't necessarily a new feature to Windows 11, but especially since the Windows 7 days, this functionality has changed, or the appearance of actually making the change has changed quite a bit. So I'm going to show you guys how to do that, and we're going to go ahead and jump right into it. So start by opening up the search icon, and you want to type in settings. Best result, check them back with settings. Go ahead and open that up. Select the personalization option on the left side, and then on the right side, you want to go ahead and scroll down. And you can select your different theme to apply. So if you have a different color theme you want to use here, different background image perhaps, if you have a specific static image you like, for example, or a slideshow, you have a folder you want to use a slideshow from, you can do that as well. And you can customize all these settings in here like you normally would. Choose the different colors as well. So if you want to do a different light mode or dark mode as well as accent colors, you can set all of that through here. So again, pretty straightforward process. You just would go ahead and set whatever you'd like. And then once you're done with that, you would select the themes option. Let's go ahead and left click on that. And then, like I said, you can, you can select different colors from here. So definitely, you know, a lot of different options to play with. And there'll be an option here to click on the save option to save your custom theme. Name it whatever you want. And then you would select save. And there you go. Now you'll have your own custom theme in this list here. And it'll have its own name that you selected. And if you ever wanted to delete the theme, you just would right-click on it, and you would delete it. But you can't delete it if it's the currently used theme, so you have to select a different theme here, and then you could remove that other theme that you just created. So again, pretty straightforward process there, guys. I do hope I was able to help you out, and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.